Hi, I'm Amy, this is House of Nash Eats, and today we are making my best chicken salad recipe. chicken salad, it's super easy, especially if you already have pre-cooked chicken breasts to use in your recipe. Lots of times I'll just use leftover chicken, um, a rotisserie chicken that I buy from the store, makes it super easy. I'll leave some instructions in the recipe below that will tell you how to cook chicken breasts if you don't happen to have any already prepared for you on hand. To start out, we're going to chop our ingredients and put them into the bowl and then mix it together and that's pretty much all there is to it. So first I have three sticks of celery and I'm just going to cut off the ends and then we're just going to chop these up so that they are bite size. I like to split them in half and then just give them a quick chop. Okay and then we're just going to toss these in the bowl and chop up the rest of the celery. Not only does the celery add some really great flavor to your chicken salad, it adds this wonderful textural crunch that makes it really delicious. Okay, so once the celery is chopped, we're going to chop up some red grapes. You could use green grapes. Um, some people will leave out grapes and use dried cranberries or raisins. I just really like the fresh, sweet um, bit of the grape flavor in my chicken salad. So this can take a little while. Usually I delegate this task to my kids who come and slice the grapes in half just so that they are easier and bite size in the salad. So we're just gonna slice up about a cup and a half of grapes and add them to the celery. Okay, so that's about a cup and a half of red grapes and they're all sliced in half. We're going to add them to the bowl with the celery. And now I'm going to cut up my green onions. And I use both the white and the green part of the green onions. So just cut off the end and then slice these. And green onions give a really nice, um, fresh bite of flavor to the chicken salad. They're super delicious. One of my favorite ingredients actually. Now I've got some rotisserie chicken breasts that I just pulled off a chicken that I got from the store and I'm going to cut these up so they're bite size. I like to, to dice them a little bit. Um, it just gives a little bit of a nicer presentation than shredding the chicken, but you could shred it if you wanted to. So to dice the chicken, I'm just going to cut right into the chicken breasts. These are about half an inch size pieces so that they're about the same size as the grapes. If you think about the sizes of the different ingredients going into your chicken salad, that makes it really mix well together and feel nice as you're eating it. Cut it the other way, the other direction, and then just chop it up into half an inch size cubes, pretty much. And then that gets added to the bowl with the grapes and the green onions and the celery. And you should have about four cups of chicken, which is usually about two to three nice sized chicken breasts. Okay, and then we're going to add this chicken to the bowl. One thing I really like about this recipe is it's super easy to double or triple it for a spring or summer party. Um, it's great to eat all year long, but we tend to eat it a lot in the spring or the summertime. The next thing I'm going to add is some fresh dill. You could use dried dill for this and it will still taste good, but there is nothing like fresh dill. dill. The herbs just really bring out a great flavor. It makes it taste like spring and summer. It's super delicious. So just peel the dill off the stalk or stem. I don't know what it's called. And it already starts smelling so, so good. Fresh herbs really elevate any recipe and any cooking. Make people think that you're a professional chef. Okay, and we're just going to chop that up. And we're going for about two tablespoons of fresh dill. I tend to not measure super exactly when I'm making chicken salad kind of throw it all together, and I'll change it up often based on what I have on hand. Instead of grapes, you could use chopped apples, you could use pecans or pine nuts instead of the sliced almonds. It's super easy to adjust this base recipe and make it your own. 
Okay, and so then I have a cup of sliced almonds that I'm going to use. You could use slivered almonds, you could use a different kind of nut, like pecans would be really good in this. But I'm just going to use these slivered almonds and dump those in. And now I'm going to set this to the side and work on my dressing. So now we're gonna make this super easy dressing for our chicken salad. And we're going to start with a cup of mayonnaise. Use real mayonnaise, makes a big difference. And one fourth of a cup of sour cream. I'll leave a link to the recipe below that has all of the ingredient measurements for you. Then we're gonna use the juice of half of a lemon. Okay, so one trick to getting the most juice out of your lemons is to just roll it on the counter. That breaks up the membranes just a little bit so more juice comes out. And just slice it in half. And I'm gonna use my juicer. It's super easy, you could just squeeze it out. This keeps from any seeds from getting in your dressing. And then it's just one teaspoon of kosher salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Then I'm just going to whisk that all together. So I've got all of the chicken salad ingredients and we're adding the little dressing that we made. The super simple mayonnaise and sour cream and lemon juice dressing. This salad has all those fresh spring and summer flavors of lemon and dill and celery and the tender juicy chicken with a little bit of sweetness that comes from the grapes or apples or raisins or cranberries if you choose. And we're just going to mix it all together. Okay, that's all mixed. Now I can transfer it back to my nicer bowl. And we're going to cover this and stick it in the refrigerator for about one to two hours. It's going to let the flavors meld together so you get a really nice um, flavor in every single bite of your chicken salad. You could serve it right away. It just tastes a little bit better when it's had some time to chill in the fridge first. There we go, there's our chicken salad. So I'm gonna go pop it in the refrigerator for a little bit. Okay, our chicken salad has been chilling in the fridge for about an hour and now I'm going to put it on a plate. I really like chicken salad sandwiches on croissants. You could use regular bread, you could just use butter lettuce and put a scoop of chicken salad on top of that and serve it that way. It's nice and light and fresh. I'm gonna do it on croissants today because that's my favorite way. So I have these croissants I just got from the store and I split them in half. I'm going to put some butter lettuce on the base and just a nice big scoop of the chicken salad. I'm just going to pack it on there and that's it. You could plate a bunch of these and make a big platter for a party. They're so great because everybody can take one and enjoy it with all the other party foods that you like to serve. These make an excellent lunch. We have them for dinner in the summertime when it's hot. These are so, so good. It's the best chicken salad, super easy recipe that you can adapt to whatever flavors you like best. Okay, I like this best as a sandwich, so I'm going to have it on a croissant. Mm. That is really, really excellent. You get the crunch from the celery, the sweetness from the red grapes, a little bit of that herb flavor from the dill and the freshness from the lemon, and the chicken is so good and tender. This is one of my favorite, favorite meals during the spring and summertime. It's super easy. I'll make it at the beginning of the week and have it in the fridge to eat all week long for easy lunches. It's super delicious. If you like this chicken salad recipe, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button. And let me know below if you would like to eat it on croissants or in a bowl as a salad.